Some dense moments after a flight lesson took a dangerous turn last night. Danbury Airport officials say that plane was trying to land. The pilot called saying he suffered engine trouble five miles out. Then the plane went down with three people on board. News 8 Stephanie Simone live in News 8 Control to show us how one special piece of equipment saved their lives. Stephanie? Darren, and the plane had a parachute. It's a built-in feature on all Cirrus planes. And we talked to first responders and a mechanic about how it ultimately saves lives. A flight lesson tests the skills of an instructor. When I first got the call and I heard there was a plane crash um, in the middle of a residential area, I expected the worst. Danbury Airport's Michael Safranek was one of the first on the scene to see the Cirrus SR-20. The plane's built-in parachute cushioned the fall. The instructor, student, and his friend all walked away. They were very shaken, but physically they were fine. Um, they didn't need to go to the hospital and lives were saved. There's no question about it. This is similar to the plane they were flying last night. It's an SR-22. Now he says two miles outside the airport, the pilot realized they were going to crash. So he pulled this down and ejected the parachute. It's a safety feature like an airbag in a car. Aviation mechanic Devin Chapin has been working on these planes for six years. He says a 70 foot in diameter parachute deploys in less than two seconds, a short time to land a nearly 3,000 pound aircraft. It comes right out of a special panel right here, and uh, there's a rocket that deploys that parachute. To land properly, the plane has to be at least 800 feet in the sky. Luckily, last night, all factors were on their side. It actually literally just, it just floated down and it landed just exactly the way it was supposed to without crashing into anything. Of course, now they've questioned everyone on board and the Federal Aviation Administration is trying to figure out the cause of what caused this plane to go down. We're live in News 8 Control, Stephanie Simone, News 8.